Yes, India and France have joined the increasing list of countries advising their citizens against travelling to Iran and Israel. Iran is threatening to launch an attack on Israel after an Israeli airstrike killed senior Iranian commanders. As they shop for Shabbat, the Jewish day of rest, people here know the country is on high alert. The market in Jerusalem is busy, but there's apprehension about what could happen in the coming days. Israel has been threatened by Iran for many years. It's, uh, they've acted on these threats many times, but we're still here. We don't know what's going to happen, but it's scary. It's scary to live this life. The threat from Iranian proxies is already real. Yossi had to evacuate his home in the north of Israel, along with tens of thousands of others, because of the daily exchanges between Hezbollah and the Israeli military. He's now living in a hotel. I'm in Jerusalem because we don't have any shelter in, in where, where I live. We don't have any place, a security place. If I, if I was a security place, I would stay over there. Israel and Iran have long been enemies, but there is a risk now of open war. Ayatollah Hamanei is vowing retaliation after an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus understood to be conducted by Israel, which killed two senior generals. At this gathering a few days ago, crowds chanting death to Israel. There's widespread anger across the country, and it makes a response more likely. Security sources in the United States say a missile strike on Israel from Iran is now imminent. It could happen in the next couple of days. Diplomatic efforts to try and de-escalate the situation are going on behind the scenes. Israel says it's prepared for any scenario and is warning the Iranians that if they do attack, there will be serious consequences. Former head of the Mossad intelligence division, Haim Toma, warns the risk of miscalculation and a regional war is great. Well, up till now, the strategy of Iran was, was to, to uh, operate proxies. By now, they, say, they are saying, actually, by their own lips, that uh, you kill our generals, uh, we, would kill, uh, we would respond directly towards Israel this time. Uh, that could be a change, a game changer. No question about that. If an attack happens, it's not clear what Iran would target. But in Israel, with the memory of the October the 7th terror attack still raw, they worry the conflict is about to escalate. Peace and security here feel further away than ever. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Jerusalem.